People are cray cray for craft beer, and what breweries have on tap is ever changing. People are tired of bland flavors. They want big, bold uh, layering of flavors and everything from the food all the way to their beer. Arizona Wilderness master brewer Chris Rogers is raising the bar big time. We add these components, these adjuncts into the beer to flavor them and season uh, the beer essentially. A long list of unlikely ingredients are finding their way into beer. Here are three to try. First up, grapes aren't just for wine anymore. So the rose vice is one of our house sour beers. We barrel age it for about a year in some red wine barrels to pull out some of that red wine characteristic and a little bit of those tannins. It also takes on a wine-like color. All right, so cheers. Cheers. Next, a beer that brings back the salty. Grapefruit Goza is one of our most popular beers. It comes from a uh, certain German area where there was a heavy salt content in the water, so their beers were coming out with a little bit of a salty aftertaste. We strip our water down and add some of that salt back into the beer to give it that nice salty bite on the end. You know what this tells me? To strategically get your friends out on the patio on a hot summer day. Exactly. It almost looks like a Hefeweizen too. It is a bit hazy, yep. It's got that tart, crisp flavor to it. And finally, perk up your brew with some coffee. So this is medium roast and espresso roast coffee. And it also includes Madagascar vanilla beans. Just remember, don't serve it cold. You'd like to serve this, yes. Room temperature, a little warmer so those flavors can come out. Coffee's good with everything. Sprucing up your beer. Cheers. Cheers. On the breakdown.